From manned drones to flying cars to whole new public transport systems that'll cut our commutes in half, there's no denying it. In the world of transport, we're pretty much living in the future. But with such exciting new vehicles already around, what does the actual future look like? I've put together 10 of the most exciting vehicles currently in development to try and answer that question. Number 10, Terrafugia TFX. This vehicle might look like a sports car with an exaggerated spoiler at first glance, but when this beast unfolds its strange metallic wings, you'll see there's much more than meets the eye. The TFX is a flying car in development by the Boston-based startup Terrafugia, who were recently purchased by Volvo, and its wings feature two hefty propellers for launching it into the air. The hybrid four-seater vehicle will be capable of vertical takeoff, which means no need for runways. Once in the air with its propellers folded away, the TFX should be capable of speeds of up to 200 miles per hour and distances of up to 500 miles. The TFX will be autonomous in the air, so no special training will be necessary to fly or land your new car. Although only in the early stages of development and currently set to be on the market in 2030, Terrafugia are already taking pre-orders for the $180,000 vehicle. It may seem outlandish, but with the backing of Volvo, there's every chance that we might be zipping about in flying cars in a decade. Number nine, Smet Military Vehicle. The Smet, or Squad Multi-Purpose Equipment Travel Vehicle, might not be the most glamorous piece of equipment the Army has to offer, but this futuristic breed of vehicle, designed to carry the burdens of troops, is about to become autonomous. Several options are being tested, but all carry up to 1,000 pounds of load, have a 60-mile range, and run silently and electronically. One version has a steering wheel for optional manual control and others can be controlled remotely. All have autonomous capacities, and some even come preloaded with heavy caliber machine guns. Two army brigades and a marine unit have been testing this robotic pack mule since 2018, and currently the versions are looking very promising. The US Army hopes that their chosen SMET will be in the field by 2021, another step towards fully automated military force, and another step closer to the robot apocalypse. Great. Number eight, boom, supersonic planes. Ever since a combination of falling ticket sales, inefficiency, and unfortunate crashes saw the Concorde take its final flight 16 years ago, supersonic flight has been strictly reserved for military use. But Colorado-based aerospace startup, Boom, claimed they are about to make supersonic flight mainstream. Day trips across the Atlantic may soon be a possibility with Boom's supersonic planes, which will be able to reach Mach 2.2 speeds, three times faster than current commercial airliners. The sleek 55-seater aircraft are still being tested, currently with a one-third size model. Development was made possible through total investments of $141 million as of 2019, mostly from Silicon Valley investors. These investors may have money to burn but they also work in tech and have some idea of what's viable, as well as having an eye for a cool toy. Boom are planning for a 2025 launch, and both Virgin and Japan Airlines have planes on pre-order and have been helping Boom with logistics behind the scenes for a while. With all this concrete support and a seemingly solid design and business plan, supersonic flight could well catch on for international travel. In just a few short years, we could be hopping over the Atlantic or from coast to coast in just three hours. Number seven, Airfish. Step aside, hovercrafts. The Airfish will carry eight to 10 passengers at a time over water with predicted speeds of up to 120 miles per hour. This makes the Airfish, which is based on a German prototype from the 1990s, up to three times faster than ferries. The vehicle is being designed and built by Widgetworks, who have already carried out test flights of a full-sized airfish in their home city of Singapore. Despite its seaplane looks, the airfish is technically classed as a merchant ship. That classification is purely technical, however, as this baby is fitted with a V7 engine and hovers two to six meters above water. This intriguing method of flying is possible due to an aerodynamic phenomenon known as the ground effect where air flowing between an aircraft wing and a surface reaches higher pressures than in regular flight. 
This is because the vortex of air that usually forms around a wing is unable to dissipate as usual, consequently increasing lift and allowing the plane to float above the ground. The real draw of this new generation of hovercraft are the possibilities for exploration. With no jetty or landing area needed, the airfish could be dropping travelers off at some of the most remote islands and shorelines in the world as early as this year. Number six, Apple iMaybe. One of several cars slated for development by Apple, the sleek and futuristic iMaybe began as a collaborative project with BMW. Unfortunately, no one seemed to be quite sure exactly what this meant at the time. The project was announced in 2016 when BMW came on board as either a partner or an auto supplier. Everything has been very hush-hush with Apple referring to the development as Project Titan, making details on the relationship between the companies hard to find. It looks though like things may have broken down in the boardroom with Apple now partnering up with Volkswagen. Apple has been working tirelessly on autonomous driving tech for years and slow progress may be holding up the Apple car department and making it difficult to move on to grander plans. For now, the company have confirmed they're close to perfecting Apple branded VW transporters equipped with self-driving technology, which is pretty cool. Just remember to take out your AirPods while on the road. Number five, DeLorean Aerospace DR7 VTOL. The DR7 is set to be a personal plane that the company building it, DeLorean Aerospace, claim will be built like a race car for the sky. The plane, or sky race car if you like, will have seating for two passengers. A light single shell body means the plane will be incredibly fast and maneuverable and a central twin vectoring propulsion system offers unrivaled safety. There are patents pending for multiple proprietary features for the DR7 that are, as yet, still a mystery to the public. Judging by the futuristic four-wing design though, the new features are bound to be impressive. LA-based DeLorean Aerospace have made two scale models of the DR7. Currently, they're working with a one-third size engineering model and building a full-size vehicle. Despite being battery powered, the company is predicting a 120 mile range for this personal plane stroke flying car. Don't get too excited though. This baby won't be getting you to work anytime soon. A commercial rollout is expected in anything between five and 15 years. Still, a flying DeLorean of any kind is one step closer to Doc Brown's time machine so I'm happy to wait. Number four, Virgin Hyperloop One. You may have heard of the Hyperloop, but what is it? It's basically a train in a vacuum tube, with the basic benefit being that in a Hyperloop, there's no air pressure or friction. Usually on Earth, air pressure pushes against all vehicles moving through it, and friction results in energy loss through heat. Being in a vacuum, these issues are removed, unleashing a whole new, faster, more efficient transportation method. Add a few superconducting magnets, otherwise known as maglev technology, which keeps the train levitated just above its tracks, and you have a train that reaches almost the speed of sound. Traveling this fast poses dangers, so tests will need to be rigorous. The most advanced project of this type is the Virgin Hyperloop One, and tests are already underway. Feasibility studies have taken place in Missouri and Nevada, which have concluded that the travel routes are indeed viable. But passenger studies have a mid-2020s date at the moment, and it's only after those that the large infrastructure projects needed for a practical Hyperloop system can get underway. Virgin's rideable tests will be in a raised tube with passengers hurtling through in pods. According to Virgin's website, a trip from LA to Las Vegas, four and a half hours by car, would take only half an hour on this super fast train. Number three, SpaceX Big Falcon Rocket. There's been a lot of talk about Elon Musk's SpaceX recently, after a mostly successful recent test flight of a craft designed to carry humans. Part of SpaceX's future plans to commercialize space travel includes the development of their BFR, or Big Falcon Rocket, which is projected to be the most powerful rocket in history. It certainly needs to be, as Mr. Musk has his eyes set on Mars as the destination for this galactic beast, which is expected to be 350 feet tall, including a 40 cabin living quarters. The rocket, like some of SpaceX's other efforts, will be completely reusable, and Musk hopes it will carry out its first cargo mission to Mars in 2022. SpaceX has had several notable successes already, 
including becoming the first commercial company to visit the International Space Station in 2012. This means things are looking good for the future of civilian space travel. So good, in fact, that Japanese fashion designer Yusako Mazawa has signed up for SpaceX's first trip to the moon in 2023. Number 2. Driverless Pods Predicted by futurologist Ian Pearson and backed up by Italian research, these strange driverless pods could be in line to replace cars as early as 2025. Heathrow Airport in London have been using a basic self-driving pod system since 2011, so these futuristic pods may not be as far out as they seem. Next Future Transportation released a full-sized working prototype of their modular, battery-operated transport system in 2017. When their completed transport system hits the streets, it will include a variety of pods that can be coupled together into longer vehicles. There will also be service pods on call via a smartphone app, so passengers can travel in on-demand comfort to their destinations. Renault have also entered the pod industry with their EasyGo concept car, which they claim will reinvent the taxi. Renault are putting a premium on safety and style with their vehicle, which has a capped speed for city driving and a sleek interior. Renault's robot vehicle certainly looks good, but at this point, it's a race to get the first ride-sharing pods on the road, and Renault predict a 2030 rollout. Before I reveal the coolest future vehicle currently in development, here are a couple of honorable mentions. In homage to the record-breaking 1937 car of the same name, Mercedes-Benz's new Silver Arrow concept vehicle is a sight to behold. The one-seater sports car is designed for speed with an eye-catching avant-garde silver body that's a product of new breakthroughs in aerodynamics. The car runs on a purely electric drivetrain, proving that even luxury cars are heading in an eco-friendly direction without sacrificing panache. There's no release date yet, but this mesmerizing one-man machine could revolutionize the luxury car market. Another close contender takes the Batmobile to space. At least that's what it looks like. NASA's new conceptual Mars rover is a six-wheeled tank-like machine built for a manned mission. Though it's more stylized than NASA's real efforts may end up being, it draws real-world inspiration from NASA's Curiosity rover with open structure wheels rather than air-filled tires, ideal for the tough terrain of Mars. It's uncertain if or when this 5,500-pound beast might make it to the red planet, but if it looks like this, I'll definitely be watching. Number 1. Hyundai Cradle Hyundai's outlandish concept vehicle, unveiled at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, is a car with legs. No, seriously, this car has literal legs. Using technology from both robotics and vehicle engineering, the Cradle would be able to drive, walk, and even climb. These capabilities were shown in an animated video made by the company which reveals a vehicle that looks very much like something out of Star Wars. The car is designed not only to navigate 4x4 tracks and busy city streets, but also to respond to humanitarian crises and natural disasters. Its extendable legs give it an ability to scale rough terrain unlike any other vehicle in history. The car could even change the lives of people living with disabilities or reduced mobility. The cradle is fully electric and it's a modular design. This means owners would not only be doing good for the planet, but they would also easily be able to swap out parts or even the whole cabin. Of course, as a concept car, development could be years off, but Hyundai are certainly opening up new avenues of exploration for designers, engineers, and drivers. With the race to space heating up by the day, we could see this type of innovative, supremely mobile vehicle becoming more and more common.